Quintaro's TV. I'm your host, Johnny Kelly. And your co-host, Alex Burt. We've got plenty of action for you today. Two games from the weekend covering the men's action, along with other features in the show. First off, we're going to start with our game at Liverpool, and here are the highlights. That was definitely a tough loss for the Arrows Basketball Club at Liverpool, losing 91-82. to uh, Johnny, what are your thoughts about the game? I think we did um, everything that we needed to do to win an away game um, in a tough place in a nice setup away in Liverpool. We shot the ball from three well, we shot the ball from the free throw line uh, really well, but at the end of the day we missed some of the easy layups. So. That's that for the, you know more or less for the Patriots Cup, unless there's some freak results elsewhere. Um, but there we go. We'll just move on and uh, prepare ourselves uh, for the other competitions. How we, how, what were your thoughts on the game? It definitely was a good battle, a good fight throughout the first and second half, throughout the whole game. Really, um, like you said, we we shot the ball pretty well. Unfortunately, we missed a few more layups or inside the paint shots that we would have liked. Um, but in the end, there's really nothing that I can really complain about because I think we got a lot of positive things out of that game yeah. um, as a team, as a unit. Um, so I think uh, as a, from a learning perspective, I think we have a bright future going ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, good news though for the Arrows elsewhere on Saturday was the under-16s with a fantastic win away to Derby Trailblazers. Uh, they went away in a quite a young group and managed to get a win there by nine points. In particular, Wada Hassan scoring a huge 55 points in that game, really bringing his club home, um, away from home. Fantastic, well done. Um, Twitter challenge of the week, uh, up now. Yeah, Twitter challenge. So our winner from last week's question of how many points will the Arrows Basketball Club score in their two games last weekend, the winner was at Deno879. Congratulations to him. Now for this week's Twitter challenge. For stars, the Arrows have three games this weekend. The 16s play, the 18s play, and the men's teams all play. And now for this week's question is, of the three teams, which team will win by the largest point spread? So when you think you know your answer, you can go on Twitter and send it to the link below. And uh, best of luck. Now up is the National Cup highlights against Nottingham Hoods taking place on Sunday. Oh, my God. 
And there were the highlights from the Hoods vs. Arrows game. Again, another tough loss for us this weekend. Uh, Johnny, a few comments about the game? I think it's tough when you look back at it. You know, the Hoods came with big bodies and, uh, and really test our, uh, test us physically on the defensive end. And we stood up to the challenge and it, it just seems at the moment we're playing some great basketball. We're doing all the right things in order to win. Uh, but we're learning the harsh lessons of the fact that sometimes you can do everything and the ball just doesn't roll for you. Um, and that was particularly the case on Sunday. A few more things to add on top of that. I mean, one thing that I liked about our team's efforts were definitely on the defensive end. Yeah. Um, we had 14 steals as a team, which I think defensively that's great, meaning we had hands in passing lanes. We're always being active, communicating to, with one another. Um, another thing, too, is we had eight block shots, which is pretty impressive as well, six of which were by John. Um, he's always there in the paint, coming across the lane, making sure that there's no easy baskets. So, um, I think in the long run, defense is going to win us the game, yeah. um, especially once we reach league play. So hopefully as long as we continue that effort, I think we have a huge upside. Yeah. And, a, and a shout out to everybody who made it to Drumfield on Sunday. What a great atmosphere that was and uh, thank you for your support. And sorry we couldn't quite get over the line for you guys who came out, but uh, thank you very much for your support. It was, it was truly fantastic. But the fun never stops. This weekend, the under-18s will go away on Saturday to Cheshire as they start their season, finally. The under-16s will be at home on Saturday at Kilmarsh Sports Centre, 12.30 against Ilkeston Outlaws. And the men will play on Sunday, 2.30, last Patriots Cup game against Worcester Wolves. Next up is Would You Rather with Ellis Salem. Here we go. State your name and your team. Ellis Allen for the under 18s. Here's some questions for you, Ellis. Okay. Would you rather win £100,000 for yourself or a million pounds for the club? A million pounds for the club. Would you rather make the NBA or win every Arrows game for 10 years? Ooh. NBA, sorry. Would you rather have Phil Jackson coach you or the Kelly family? Kelly family, without a doubt. Would you rather have the Arrows win every game for two years or the Sharks lose every game for ten years? Uh, can I say both? No. Nope. Sharks for ten years. In one word, describe the following. Big Boss. Knowledge. Kelly Family. Commitment. Killer Marsh. Home. Dromfield. Home. <laughs> Arrows. Favourite overseas player and why? Ooh. I would say Darren Best. Why? Uh, he was just when he was around the club, he really got into it all and he always helped out everyone. Well, all the ages as well, even from like five year olds to the under 18s and everything. Favourite player you have played with and why? Ooh. That's a tough question. Mm. Oh, I won't need a minute for that one. James Kelly, for sure. James Kelly, great guy. Always been around the club, always helped the little kids. And he's, just, he's really fun to play with, he really gets everyone involved. If you had one basketball wish for you or the Arrows, what would it be? Final course, under 18s. Thank you, Alice. Thank you very much, Alice, for that insight on the Would You Rathers. More Would You Rathers next week in our new edition. Another new addition this year will be the AJK Challenge. A challenge between myself and Alex, both intellectually and physically. Obviously the physical part I'm really worried about. So, uh, let me, let's explain the rules. The intellectual side will be questions that me and Alex have thought up for each other that we will not know until we ask live on air. And let's pretend we are actually live. So, I can only ask Alex Basketball questions or questions on the US. And Alex? I can only ask basketball questions or questions about the UK. So, let's go Team UK. Team USA, baby. Alex, would you like to go first or second? <laughs> I'm going first. You go first, okay. Yeah. Alright, so I got a basketball question. In what year was the BBL founded? 
I'm going to go with 1993. Wrong. 1987. Really? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. And your question? <laughs> yeah. Is, in inches, what is the diameter of a basketball ring? Ring? Ring. In inches, what is the diameter of a basketball ring? What does that even mean? The diameter all the way across. Of a ring? Yeah. Like a ring. Like a hoop. A basketball hoop. Oh. I think there is some mathematical calculations going on. 28 inches. 28 inches. See how big that is. 24. <laughs> he didn't get that correct. It's 18 inches. Ah! So, after that riveting contest, nil bill. <laughs> <laughs> Please join us again next week on Arrows TV. Goodbye. So long.